yourself. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. I'm wondering whether or not I want to reference our West African connection. It's not necessary. It's not what we're here for today. I was written, I was painted, I was molded in the sculptures. Shot that left and I picked apart my coaches. Hit on one and post this, banished by the coaches. So I keep an open mic giggle on my hostess. Context complex to the visually dyslex. But for no search of these text makes what's next. Fight for justice, modern day. So, um, so let's start off with the big question. Do you vote? Um, yeah, I do. Okay. So with being civically engaged um, and like and, and, and thinking about politics and everything that's going on, how do you feel that kind of bleeds into your poetry? Do you feel like you have to um, try to make change with your your art, or is, is it is it is it a huge part of why you make art? Um, yeah, it is actually. Um, I feel like. You know, people with my background um, sometimes aren't allowed a voice, you know? Um, so for me to be able to, to speak my truths and many other people's truths openly um, on stage, you know, around around the country, it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know? Um, I'm able to get my message out as well as, well as a lot of our own message uh, out as well, you know? So it's, it's very important. I'm grateful for it as well. Very cool. So we live in the social media age. We got Facebook, Instagram. We see a lot of messages. Um, as of late, I've been actually thinking, you know, it's actually a good thing that we, that we share a lot of these negative things. Because what I'm realizing is that a lot of people, they didn't know that a lot of this stuff was happening, yeah. you know? Um, what, what do you feel like, how do you feel about the conversation that's going on on social media when it comes to politics and those kinds of things? Man, well, take your pick. There's a lot of, <laughs> so a lot of uh, different narratives we can go with. Um, How's it affecting you personally? Um, you know, it's, it's honestly, I mean, online, I mean, we all have our own opinions about various things, you know, when it, when it comes to just, you just I, brush I it off. yeah, I try not to really engage on Facebook, particularly yeah. when it comes to politics, it's just, it's just too many ways uh, your words can be interpreted, and, you know, it's something, you know, if I were to speak about it, I'd rather speak in person, you know, yeah. to have that type of conversation, not really on, on the key. Okay, well there's a lot of conversations that are super loud right now. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of things that are really, really big issues. For me, sometimes I feel like, well, and, and especially growing up, I was like, I don't know if all of these actually super address me. You know, I had, and I didn't really know what my thing was. As I get older, I kind of figure out what I'm about. Do you feel like there's something that isn't getting enough attention right now? Um, An issue? Man, I guess on... I'm doing you know, the heavy question. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm like, yeah, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess one thing locally would be San Antonio, uh, the liter literacy with the youth, you know, um, that, I wish that was something that was more so on the forefront and something that was, um, you know, being taken care of, you know, taking initiative on. Um, mm -hmm. It's one thing I, I like to do in the community is uh, work with uh, different uh, schools uh, through Right Art Out, which is a nonprofit here in San Antonio. And, um, you know, we, we're in the schools, you know, yeah. we're, we're tackling uh, literacy and then teaching poetry and creative writing with some of the students. Um, you know, it's something we, if we can't affect the actual school itself and, and getting the funds there, you know, at least we can. Um, um, you know, reach the kids inside, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that's that's one way that I've been able to kind of get out there and, and take my, you know, do my part. Definitely. I love that. That's very yeah. cool. Uh, I'm glad we're here tonight. This is a really cool venue, and uh, we're going to get to enjoy some art, consume some poetry. What is your favorite way to consume poetry? I feel like I know what your answer is going to be, but... Um, written, live... Live, 100%. Yeah. 100% live, absolutely. Yeah. There's nothing like hearing it and, and seeing, you know, an artist's soul being poured out into the crowd and just absorbing that. There's nothing like that. Yeah. yeah. Are we ever going to see a J. Alejandro book? Eventually. I have several chapbooks out there. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Where can we grab those? Um, in my trunk. a lot for myself. In my trunk. In your trunk. Yes, sir. I have in your plenty. trunk. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> right. Everyone who wants one, meet at J. Alejandro's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> at events like this, um, so I guess we're gonna get a poem from you. Yeah, let's Super do it. Super excited for that. Let, let's let's, do it. let's jump straight into it. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Jay, and I'm black. So naturally, I'm offensive. My world is like the Matrix, and I find myself bending over backwards to avoid bullets and batons. All the while, I'm unarmed. It's a game that. 
we can't win. You see, I dodge bullets but step on landmines. And it should come as no surprise that I have to explain where I'm going and why I'm in the car that I'm in and why I don't have any drugs on me. No officer, there's none stashed in the car or, or in my rear, so please just let us pass. So how will I be remembered? Bold. What's up, guys? Sorry for the super weird light, but I um, just wanted to record a, a video for this week. Um, probably gonna toss in some footage. It's been a really cool week. I'm probably toss in some footage from the Growing the Power Together stream. And um, what else went down this week? Um, we were shooting a new video for Growing the Power Together. And, um, yeah, so it's pretty pretty exciting out here in San Antonio. Yes, it's going on. I'm hosting Raw tonight, so I'm backstage at some time. Record this video. Check out the the Aztec Theater. But yeah, okay. So that's where um, we are. Um, and I'm super relaxing this week. You know, like, I'm, I'm just kind of like, it's funny, like, yeah, I'm hosting the show, but actually, I'm in a super relaxed kind of place, energy. I always feed off the energy of what the show is. Maybe it's because it's raining, but, um, it's so weird, actually. I'm like, why, why is it so chill? I feel like that's how it is sometimes. Sometimes the energy doesn't match up to what you're doing. But, um, <laughs> if you're a pro like me, you recover. Just joking. I'm serious, actually. But yeah, um, exciting stuff. I'm probably, I'm putting out, I'm going to try to put some new videos out um, for Project Forward. Dot TV because I'm super excited about its ability to help artists get um, traction where they weren't able to get traction. But you know what, there are a few things that I'm thinking about, so I'm going to drop two of them. The first thing I want to talk about is um, creation, creativity, and sometimes how we push ourselves to be over creative. And I really think that if you're creative, I'm focusing on this new thing. It's uh, oh, I also did my 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 live Q and A. But if you're a creative person, I think you should limit the amount of, of stuff that you pressure yourself to do. And what I really mean is that you should focus on that one moment of the week um, where you exercised your identity or you, you worked on a project and you did something that was super you, and let that carry you throughout the whole week. Don't be creating every single moment, because your energy isn't 100%. There's a moment during the week where your energy is really cool. And um, live off of that. Live off of that one thing. And pick a day during the week, like Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, one hour, I make this thing, and then live off of that for the, for the, for, for the rest of that week. Literally be like, so my, my thing for this week is <laughs> the one hour thing. Like that's what I'm all about. Focus on that one hour, live off that energy, tap back into that energy and let that be the whole energy that carries you throughout the week. Number two, I want to talk about submitting to stuff because I think uh, I just shared a video from Gary Vee on my Instagram page. Um, and I'm talking about submitting and stuff like that. And, and I think sometimes submitting can be weird because it's like, ah, do I do it? How much should I do it? Should I be a full-time submitter? And it all depends on you and, and how you live, like to live life. Um, but don't get overly caught up in that. Anyway, it's about to get super loud here. Athens Media cares not at all about my vlog, so she's bumping it. Trying to save the names, the one and ones, the spirit of a million sons, who made their demise by the lawless guns, resurrected on this place to bring peace to the undone. World War 2013, got the boss like Ben Springs, nightmares and a lucid dream. Fuck your team and the As Ken Young here, Mr. Composition, we are here. Press the media. Oh yeah, for us. The door is just open and people are starting to come in. Uh, it's raining outside, but it's also Fiesta in San Antonio. What do you think about Night, this is dope, it looks amazing. It's my first time in the Aztec Theater, so now I'm getting the visualization to get in my brain so that way we do the top secret stuff, you know, then you know what's up. So, All right? Well, well, well. I'm like super, like, I've, I recorded a vlog earlier and I'm like, I'm actually super low energy. Yeah. I think it's because, like, compared to, like, moving all over the place, like, I still feel like I'm in a really relaxed mode. Yeah. I've been sleeping really well. Like, I'm not, like, pumping myself up with energy drinks or anything like that. So it's just, like, I'm ready for the show. Right. I'm ready to ride whatever energy's out there. Pump people up. 
artists and apply all these amazing artists and, you know, uh, personalities that it's super dope. So we just chill. Yep. All right, y'all. See you later. I was written, I was painted, I was molded in the sculptures. Shot that, left the die, picked up all my coaches. Hit don't want to post this, banished by the coaches. So I keep it open, my giggle on my hostess. Context complex to the visually dyslexic. Go for no soldier, means text, mix, what's next? Fight for justice, modern day, Jordan, hex, with a hex.